Hello everyone. I'm going to solve the top layer for you again using the ideal solution. I guess some people thought I wasn't clear enough. I'm going to try and clarify things. First of all, the color of a side is always determined by the color of its middle piece. Okay? Since this piece is white in the middle, that means this whole side is going to be the white side. This piece is red in the middle, that means this whole side is going to be red. Blue on this one, orange on this one, green on this one, and yellow on this side. All right. So the first thing you do is you're going to find the white corner pieces and you're just going to put them on top of the cube in no particular order. All right. Like this, this piece right here. Just going to move it up there and stick it up. Okay. And you have another one right here. Just going to just put it up there. Now you got to find the others. And there's one on the bottom. So I put it underneath the spot where I want it to go. Then rotate it. And now it's over here. And now it's right here. And you move this back up. And then put it over here. And move this down and just stick it into place. Okay? And move it up. Now I'm going to do the same with this one over here. It's right here. Take it, put it over here for a second, move that back up, stick it over here, move that down, and put it up. Now you should be able to do this on your own. That's why I don't want to spend a lot of time explaining how to put the corners on the top of the cube. Because it's really pretty easy. If you mess around with the cube long enough, you should be able to do it. And if you can't get this far, you need to pause the video right now until you're this far. Okay? Once you're this far, you should be able to find one side of the top layer with, with two matching corner pieces. Like notice, these are not matching. This is orange and green. And these aren't matching. That's red and orange. And these aren't matching. That's green and red. But over here, you got blue and blue. Okay? Usually, you're going to be able to find two corner pieces that have matching colors on the side. All right? So, when you have this scenario, you need to switch the other two corner pieces. That's the only logical outcome. There's four corner pieces on the top of the cube. Two of them are in the correct position. So you have to switch these other two. That's the only logical outcome. So you take those two corner pieces that you want to switch and put them towards you. Make sure they're facing you. And what you're going to do is you're going to take this piece and you can put it here. And then move it up to the top. Then you're going to take this corner piece and you're going to put it right there. And then move it up to the top. So here's how it goes. I'm going to start with this one right here. You move it down and then put it into that spot. And then move this back up. Okay, let me show you that again. Start with this one. It goes down, over, and up. Now you do the same thing with this side. Down, over, and up and then do it again with this side. Down, over, and up. And that color aligned all the corner pieces on your top layer. So you can see you got orange, orange, green, green, red, red, blue, and blue. All right? Now sometimes it's actually going to look uh, like this. Where none of the corner pieces on the top layer have matching sides. Okay? You notice here, see I mixed it up just to show you this other scenario. Red, orange, green, blue, orange, red, and blue and green. See, none of the corner pieces on the side of the top layer have matching colors. And every now and then that's going to happen. Alright? So if that happens to you, all you do is you pick any two corner pieces that you want and switch them. Like these two here. And just go down, over and up. Do it again. Down, over, and up. Then one more time. Down, over, and up. All right? And now you can see that there are two corner pieces that are matching. Okay? So just like earlier, when you have two that are the same, that are in their correct position now, you have to switch the two on the other side. So take those two, make sure they're facing you, and do the same thing you just did. Down, over and up, down, over and up, and down, over and up. 
and that went ahead and put all your corner pieces in the top layer in the right spot. Now, once you're there, you need to solve the side pieces. So, and this side's going to be white when it's solved, and this side's going to be orange when it's solved. So you've got to put the white and orange piece here. You can't put any other white piece in there. It's got to be the white and orange one. So what you do is you take this spot and put it over here on the right side of the cube, and then you need to find your white and orange piece. And in this case, it's in this spot, which is exactly where you want it to go. So let's say um, it was over here, all right? The white and orange piece is over here. You still keep this spot over here that you want to solve, and then take your white orange piece and you put it right here, okay? So it's going here and you stash it here. And like I said in my first video, you've got to know this perspective. Stash the cube here and it's going to go here. Once you've done that, you just take this and you rotate it down and then stick that piece into place, right? And then move it up top. Then you move on to the next one. This side's going to be white, this side's going to be red. So you've got to find the white and red piece. And it's on the bottom here, okay? So when the piece is on the bottom that you need to move to the top, you're going to rotate the bottom until that piece is directly beneath where you want it to go, okay? Get it stashed here, and you're going to put it in here. Once it's there, you just rotate that face and stick it into position. And a lot of times it's going to be backwards like this. Sometimes it'll go in correctly, where it'll be flipped around right. But sometimes it's going to be backwards. Anytime you have a backwards piece in this position, you just take it and you put it back here in your stash spot. And then you take this side, okay, and you move it over here to the other side, like this. Okay? Now this white and red piece will go in here correctly, as you can see. And then just move it up. Then go on to the next one, white and green. Well, your white and green piece is right here. So you put the spot where you want it to go over here and put your white and green piece in the stash spot. And there's that perspective again. It's going here and you got it stashed here. Then you just move it down and stick it into place. All right? So that solves your top layer. Um, hopefully that was a little clearer. Um, might need to go over the video again just so you got it. But basically you're just you're just putting the white corner pieces on the top of the cube and then you're switching the two that are incorrect. That way it's going to color align your top. And if you have no corner pieces that have matching sides, you just switch any two you want and that will give you two matching corner pieces from the side. And then from there you just switch the other two. And then you fill in your side pieces using your stash spot. Okay? If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to let me know.